So go and check them out, people. That's Petty Cassettes. Brilliant band. And uh, we're here with Stuart Hay, and he's, uh, yeah, there you go. What do you think of that, man? That was good, eh? Are they like a, is that a local inside kind of band? Yeah, I met them, uh, or 2018, I think it was, uh, old two yeah. Soundwave Awards as them. And I've got another track from another band called um, um, Black Star Jackals, and they both won the regional heats. I'm sure they're from Glasgow. I'm sure they were gla- right. they're a, they're a Glasgow band. Go and, right. go and check them out. They're absolutely okay. brilliant. A very funny thing, you see, because they sent me the press pack for the latest track they was releasing, which I played. I was like, banging mm-hmm. track, guys. Really played it. Put it all over social media. And he sent me a message. He went, if you read the message, it said it wasn't due for release for the two weeks and you've played it before anybody else. <laughs> I said, that's one way to get a world exclusive, isn't it? I said, that's that. Well, that's that eh? <laughs> we played it before the BBC. They were on the BBC introduction for that track when I played it. <laughs> <laughs> and you got there before them? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was all over it. Played it before the BBC. <laughs> Screw you. Do you know what I mean? Roll with it. That's it. Now you're going to have the BBC legal team down your throat. I've heard them before. <laughs> ah, well, makes, hey, for me, that's good publicity. I hope they do. I hope they do. I'll be all over that. I'll be publicising it everywhere. So, <laughs> but yeah, they're really good. And that's what we do on the station. We promote emerging artists, emerging bands, emerging Good. presenters, and uh, they are, are awesome guys. Love it. And I've got another track in a bit anyway. But anyway, back to you because that's why we're here. We've got you on the sh- on, on, the sh- on the show. So it, it yeah. So we've covered the bits about you know the people that don't always get what you want. So what inspires you to do your so you your clips? Because I've watched a few of your clips, and yeah. I don't think people appreciate how long it takes to do stuff. Because there's one I watched yesterday, and you're in an office and you're spinning round, and you're at the door going, "Hey, pack it in," but whatever. Right. You know what I mean, <laughs> and then you do another one. There's a clip of all different things, and right. it takes a long time to do those clips, even though they're a few minutes long. How long does it take you to do some a them, sketch? Some of them, uh, some of the bigger ones take a wee bit of time. Like I've, I've got my own, uh, I've got my own production company and stuff. Like I've got my own crew and stuff like that. Because uh, because we do stuff for the BBC, it has to be a certain type of quality as well. Uh, but there's also ones I'll just do on my phone really, really quickly. And I'm not even kidding around. There'll be ones that'll be eight seconds long. Eight seconds long, and it took me eight seconds. And then 100,000 people see it. But then there's ones, I'll, there's ones I'll spend all day on, and only like 30 or 40,000 people see it. So it's crazy. It's all about uh, just what the, what the tone it is and, and just what the content is. Like the day, put it this way, no lines left. So... I'll probably go and do a sketch after I come off this that will take me 30 seconds. Right. And I wouldn't be surprised if it blows up. I wouldn't be surprised. I'll, I'll just go and do it in the kitchen. <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, especially if it's a topical <laughs> thing. I mean, I did I did one the other day on the NASA landing and it was a blog. Basically, yeah. I was taking a pee and I basically put on the first first transmission from Mars was uh, <laughs> Alexa open <laughs> internet radio. So, <laughs> do you know what I mean? But, then, but not only that, I put it on Twitter and some PhD astrophysics guy shared it. <laughs> Exactly, that's what you want. But uh, yeah, if it's yeah. topical and people get all over it, and it's amazing how things. It must get frustrating when you do put a lot of effort into something and it doesn't get the views that you want, and yet something's just off the cuff goes push. Uh, definitely at times, I mean, de- definitely at times, but uh, most of the time it works out. Like uh, I'd done one a couple of weeks ago, uh, I recreated an Eminem song. Uh, I, I, I recreated an Eminem song and I'd done the video and, and all that as well and I knew it was going to be good uh, but I never got to do the video the way I wanted to do it uh, it seemed as if Lennon was going to be gone that night and uh, I, I'd already planned to go and shoot it with my production company and, and make it look fantastic I was like I need to do this tonight so I had to go and do it on my phone I had to get my mum I had to get, I had to get my mum involved to help me do it <laughs> and uh, I think that one's sitting on uh, 300,000 now, so there's, there's ones you know are going to go fantastic, so you don't yeah. mind putting the effort in. Uh, but listen, as I say, listen, it's a laugh, it's a laugh and a joke, and it's, it's brilliant. If, 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 if 40 people see it at 40 million, you know I mean, it's, it's still a good laugh. Yeah, I, I get that, and at the end of the day, you'd have to, if you're doing it for a living, you want to, and I always say that to people that are doing podcasts, oh, don't get many listen to me podcasts, well, if you've got 10 people tuned into your podcast and spent the time on. to listen to you in all the live mm-hmm. or busy, I'd say that as a big compliment, because yeah. the one thing that everyone's like not got even is time, innit? Do you know what I mean? No one's got right. time to, you know, it's 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 great. People send me stuff all the time, and I go, I've not got time to view that, can you send it here so that one of the other guys can review it? I can't, I've not got time to sit and watch it. It's, yeah. uh, it, it's crazy, so yeah, it's, uh, it's good. I mean, <clears throat> It's it's great to entertain people. I love entertaining people, and and I get a real buzz out of it. And um, yeah. it, it's well, that's the reason I'm in it as well. 
Not him. That's the reason I'm in it as well. Like, I just I've, I've always been an entertainer. Like before this, I was I was in bands, playing in bands. It's just just something I've always done. I mean, just uh, I enjoy uh, entertaining. That's so, it. So do you do stand up as well, or you just do your? Clips? I do totally different thing. Uh, I, I've had a lot of people ask me that. Uh, it's just I I, I couldn't see myself. Uh, having a stand up stand up routine. Uh, doing the sketches is, is, is it's more about the writing process. Yeah. It's more about being creative that way. Uh, and, and getting to actually act and do it. I'd never before this I'd never done any acting or anything. I'd never done anything like you writing, never done anything like that at all. It's just something I wanted to try my hand at. But uh, doing stand up comedy is a completely different beast. And I mean and hats off to the people who actually can yeah. do it. Maybe one day I don't know. We'll see yeah. what happens. But uh, as for them, even even the term comedian, it took me I still don't call me, I, I, I don't even know if I'd call myself a comedian. It's, it's just, I'm a writer. You know I mean, I'm a comedy writer. I write for TV yeah. uh, and I write, I write for social media. That's it. I, I, I mean, I, it's comedy, aye, but to actually, for, to actually hear somebody, like, you're a comedian, you go, am I? Am I really? But I suppose I kind of am in a way. But uh, Yeah, I mean, because you, you, you encompass all that. If you said to Harry, like Harry Enfield, he's, he's a comedian. I'm just picking someone off the top of my head. He's, he's a comedian. I know Harry Enfield. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know Harry Enfield. Do you know, I know him? That. I'm, not, I'm not that young. I, that's, how, that's, 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 how, that's what I grew up watching, Harry Enfield. No, what I'm saying is, I'm just using him as an example. You, you <laughs> class him as a comedian, but he's he's like you, and he? he's a sketch. He's, he's more into his sketches and his themes and stuff. But I do get it. I It's a bit like um, producing the radio or video. I there's It's totally different, and I get where you're coming from, to create a live, like we're talking live now, it's totally different to mm-hmm. doing a pre-planned, um, show or a pre plan yeah, video. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think some. What I like about live as well is if it goes a bit wrong. Well, it was. You know, it's live people. But if I produce some of the, do you know what I mean? Some of the stuff you do live. If you, if you did it as a as a proper video, people would be going. I couldn't even be bothered to do it right. Just, does that make sense? <laughs> and I, and yeah, I like no, the off. Definitely. I like the off the cuff stuff as well. I, and I, so I I do like being. I like that um, that thrill of. Like not knowing what's going to... I don't even know what's going to come out of my mouth half the time. So, <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah. you know, I've, done, I've, done, I've done a few live videos. I've done that before. When I started out with the BBC, uh, it wasn't football comedy. It was just uh, straight up uh, everyday kind of things. And I remember one time they needed me to do a live version of a sketch I'd done. And all it was was people would phone up and tell me what they'd done the night before. And I'd act, I, I'd act out uh, in a certain way. And... It was terrifying. It really, really was. And someday, like mm-hmm. I grew up, like watching like Saturday Night Live and things like that, and like I always thought, I'd love to do that. But getting through into like the live situation, it was it's, it's fucking mental. I mean, it's, 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 it's a lot harder than you think. Yeah, I bet. I bet. I mean, I was I was watch uh, stand up comic comedy and think, oh my god, how do you do half the stuff? You know, some of the stuff they yeah. come through. I mean, the the classic for me, I think one of the best comedians ever is Billy Connolly, and he just goes on stage and it. He says he doesn't even have a he doesn't even have a routine, does he? Just goes on stage. That's what he says. I don't know how true that is or not, but it's unbelievable. I can imagine in in, in 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 his later years that that, that was probably the case because like he's just he'd done it for so long, but that it just becomes second nature. So I can imagine I yeah. maybe in the past fifteen twenty I'd be fifteen years or something like it probably is setting is setting memory. Him, so yeah. he just goes out and just does it. You know yeah, I mean? cool, cool. So. And we'll have another, we'll another track in a minute. So you, the, you're working with the BBC. So have you got a, do you do a specific show or is it sketches for, um, you know what I mean? Because I want people to go and, yeah. go and find you afterwards. So do you do specific shows or you're, on a, or you're part of a show? What is it for people out there that don't know who you are? So basically, in terms of the BBC, it starts, uh, what I do just now primarily is I make sketches, just individual sketches, but that's all working towards one thing. It's all working towards getting my own football sketch show. Yeah. So I've been at it now for three years. Uh, I've done it for four years, but this has been the third year of just focusing on football. Uh, does a, I, I, I'm not too sure if, if you'll know about it. Your, your, your viewers and, and stuff like that in England won't really know about it, but there's a, there's a really big show up in Scotland called Only an Excuse that goes out every Hogmanay just before just before uh, midnight, just before New Year. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that's like the pinnacle of Scottish football comedy in Scotland. It's been here for about 25, 30 years. Uh, I managed to get on that this year and I managed to write for it. Uh, but it's not, it was the last year ever, so it's, it's never been done. It's never wow. getting done again. So that's both a good thing and a bad thing. It's a bad thing that it's such a, prolific, such a prolific show up here in Scotland. There's no more. But it also opens the door for me to maybe be the next person to do that show. Excellent. So 
if you, uh, and, uh, if anything, if people want to find out who I'm at, I've got to the stage where you can just Google my name. You can oh, just yeah. Google Stuart. <laughs> and, that, and that's what right. I did to find you the other week. It was like, because it was Remy that said, you need to get him on the show. And I just typed it in on Twitter and wherever, and Bosch, you, you came up everywhere. So, uh, yeah. it's crazy. Right. Excellent. I've, I've got to that point now. <laughs> and it's an easy one to spell. You know, Dougie Stone, I've got people that have been following me for years spelling it I eat. Then I'm like, oh, you don't, you've been following me for years. Can, can you get it right? But my brother did warn me. He did warn me. Uh, right, let's have another track and we'll be right back. This is another Scottish band from Glasgow and they're called Black Star Jackals. This is their latest track. So uh, we wish Stuart Hay, go and check him out after the show. Stay with us. This is Dougie Stone Radio. Listen to this. <laughs> 